All right, Jordan, just let's just start before any questions, just your general thoughts on uh, the game today. I think we came in and I think we took care of business. I think it was, we had an emphasis on coming in and just playing our game and quarter by quarter, and that's exactly what we did. How important, but you all got to a really good start. So how important was it to come out and get out to a big lead? And the game obviously got closer in the second half, but uh, to be up by that big a margin to, uh, you know, early on. Yeah, I think we always talk about uh, maturing and putting our foot on the guys. And that's exactly what we uh, came came out of halftime wanting to do. And of course, everybody's going to make runs, but I think we handled their run really good. So I think we, like they said, took it quarter by quarter and just kept focusing on the next 10 minutes. And then uh, if anybody, again, anybody has questions, let me know down in the chat and I'll call on you. I know this is a different season, but last year you all were here and played well and it came down to a shot at the end of the, end of the game. So how did you take that lesson from last year and kind of, kind of build in uh, onto this year and not let it come down to the end of the game? Uh, well, actually we just talk about winning that first battle and we have three battles to win. So we took care of today and then we'll focus on tomorrow. And do you, playing in this tournament atmosphere, then talking about tomorrow. So you got to come back. You don't know who you play yet, but then what's that mindset? You're you're going to enjoy this for now, and then go into you know find out who your opponent is and, and start that prep work. Yeah, we'll go in, uh, celebrate while we're here, and then get to work when we get to the hotel. Anybody questions for Jordan? All right, Jordan, that's pretty, they're pretty easy on you then. So thank you. Thank you. All right, Coach, your first OVC tournament virtual press conference. Just uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how you thought today's game went. Well, just extremely proud uh, of our kids. You know, Jacksonville State year in and year out um, is, if not the best defensive team, one of the top best the top defensive teams in the league. And to be able to, uh, to drop 79 on them today, I thought was huge. You know, I thought that first quarter was so important for us uh, to come out and, and really kind of jump on them and gain a lot of confidence. I thought we had a really solid game plan uh, going in, uh, but you know, game plans only work if your players execute them. And I thought our players, especially in that first quarter, executed our game plan uh, to, to almost perfection. Uh, and then obviously Jacksonville is a very well coached team. Coach Petrie's an outstanding coach. They, they made adjustments. Uh, we, were, we were doing, uh, we we're playing a lot of make miss. Uh, we did not, our first two games against them, we did not play a whole lot of zone. Uh, and we're just not a team that plays a lot of zone, uh, but we felt that was the best way to guard them. They really took us to task at their place uh, at Jacksonville, you know, about a month and a half ago, and, and we just couldn't guard them one-on-one. -on -one. So I, I thought um, being able to mix up our defense, especially in that first half, really helped. But, you know, we have felt as a team that we have not had, um, you know, four or five, all four or five players on the same page clicking on all send cylinders yet this season together on the same day. And I thought today, was about as good as it could get. Uh, we had, what, four four starters in double figures. Jay Gwynn makes a couple of those free throws, I mean, uh, layups at the end. She would be in double figures. But I, I thought all of them played really well. Uh, you know, we're playing with a shorter bench right now as we go into postseason. But I thought Malia Owens and Megan Clark came in and gave us some good minutes. So just a, a really, really good win today. Just proud of our kids. Let's follow up on that, you know, playing together at the right time of year this has just been a strange year all around but if your team is playing its best that's obviously the time of year you want to be playing well no, no question uh you know I, and i thought i thought we had a really good month of february minus that last week i thought we had really started to play extremely well we were defending extremely well and then we ran into a red hot belmont team 
you know, and had to play them on a Saturday and a Tuesday and, and just did not, not play well. Um, and then, you know, had um, finished up with a win over Austin P. And just, uh, I didn't feel like we lost the Murray game. I felt like they won it and it was a credit to them. So, you know, we felt, you know, even though we didn't finish that last week like we wanted to, um, we felt good about where we were at. And, you know, this is a team that that when we all show up on the same day, I think we're a very dangerous basketball team. And, and I thought that that we did that today. You know, one of the uh, one of the stats that really stands out to me is the points in the paint. They just crushed us both times we played them, even when we beat them at our place in early December, but they just crushed us with points in the paint. I think both times, you know, they had over 35 points in the paint. And today it was the exact opposite. Um, you know, we had 46 points in the paint to their 30. So I thought our kids just had a very aggressive mindset, a very confident mindset. And I thought that showed on both ends of the floor. Would have liked to have rebounded better uh, in the second half. I thought in the third quarter, um, you know, and, and towards the end of the second that we didn't do a great job keeping them off the offensive board. So if there's one area that we need to improve on going into tomorrow, uh, that would definitely be one area. But I thought we took better care of the basketball when they got up and pressed us at the end. I thought I thought we handled it like a veteran team. So and I thought we played like a veteran team today. And that 46 points, McKenzie, obviously seven of 10. So she was efficient when you got the ball to her down low. Well, that's what we just said in the locker room. You know, our offense flows through McKenzie, whether she's scoring or not, she's got to be a presence for us. And I know McKenzie was was not happy with how she played when we played them uh, the last time at Jacksonville, nor how, how she played on Saturday night. And uh, I, I just, I loved how aggressive and confident she came out today. And, and she was huge for us, you know, from inside uh, to outside. I know she knocked down, uh, you know, she knocked down what, uh, two three-pointers. Uh, so anytime you got a 6-3 kid that can score inside and then also stretch the defense. And I just thought, I thought she took good shots today. I thought she wanted the basketball and she was just a huge presence for us today. When I misspoke earlier, Jordan, you obviously do know who you're playing. You're playing UT Martin uh, in the next game. Can you just talk a little bit about that matchup? Well, obviously UT Martin is a great team. Uh, you know, Kevin McMillan, is, is not a, is, is a fantastic basketball coach and he's done the job that he has done at Martin is tremendous and uh, you know so we will have our, our uh, work cut out for us we're going to enjoy this for the next next hour or two and then we will get back to the hotel and uh, you know get get down to business and, and get back to work I thought I thought we played very well when we beat them um, you know at, at, I think it was the end of January at their place um, you know, obviously they were without Chelsea Perry. Uh, you know, I, I, I expect her to play some tomorrow. And so we will we will have our, our work cut out for us. But, you know, I, I think if we can, it, it's, it's never for us about who we play. It's more about how we play. And that is no disrespect to our opponent. But if we can, you know, if we can execute on the offensive end like we did today and then defend and rebound a little bit better, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about our chances moving forward. So we're thankful to have another opportunity tomorrow to play together. And, uh, you know, we, we've got to, we've just got to um, anchor down on the defensive end as well as execute on the offensive end. That's all, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you.